Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, we're looking for Cassandra. Yeah, it's her. How did she get my address? Really wasn't that hard, actually. Okay. Our next episode comes from season three and features an overachiever in underhanded schemes. Yeah, she was like a real life gossip girl. Craig met a girl named Zoe on Facebook and the two quickly fell in love. I felt like I wasn't alone in this world. Like I had somebody. But instead of just one person, she decided to mess with an entire town, including Craig's sister. So actually ruined mine and Kaylin's best friend relationship. So people are afraid of her because she can publicly blast them mm -hmm. whenever she wants if they cross her in mm -hmm. some way. She's kind of a social network bully. And the deeper we dug, the more destruction we uncovered. One day she just wrote me out of the blue and was like, hey. And then she sent me like nude pictures of Kaylin. She has posted pictures of me and other girls. And she has our first and last names and what school we go to on the pictures. Coming face to face with the people his online love had harmed just proved to be too overwhelming for Craig. I fell in love with somebody that, that is just evil. After a little investigational wizardry, Neve and I managed to not only confirm that a girl named Cassandra was behind the Zoe profile, but find her address as well. So there's only one thing left to do. Time to confront Cassandra. Here's a car. That's her. I think that's her. That's her. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. You're Zoe. Yeah. Obviously, you know, yeah, I am Craig and fully aware. This is my sister yeah. Mariah. Um, oh, God. I imagine you know why we're here. You've been pretending to be this girl Zoe online now for quite some time, and we were hoping to see if you had an explanation or some excuse or uh, anything I don't you wanted no to excuse. say. I got no excuse. What was your purpose like? Um, Why? It was just a joke, and it just got out of hand, so. But what you done? Like, you know how I mean, many times listen, I contemplated in my mind, listen, like, am I crazy? You don't have to sit there and tell me what I've done, because I'm fully aware of what I've done. But <laughs> why? What'd you get from it? It was just a, like, a game, a joke. We put people on blast, basically. Put people on blast. To get revenge on them, or? I want to say revenge, just mess with people. Look, we just spent the last three days talking to people whose relationships and, and lives you've, yeah, you've ruined. Right. Like a whole community, a whole. Yeah, I know. My life, too. Yours, yeah, yours, too. You made me lose trust with people. You made me break up relationships that I have with some of my closest friends. Even you, I thought, was a close friend of mine at the time. I was could be real with you about your friends. Um, I really didn't feel bad. But none of those people did anything to you, right? No, not really. But... You know, you stabbed me in the heart plenty of times, you know, playing me, lying to me, and I still stood by your side. Yeah. No, You've done some nasty like, why? Yes, like, I know I well, have. Well, there is but... an explanation for it. Somewhere. Okay. What is, like. I, I truthfully just did it. I don't, it just got in hand. I did it for fun. I'm not gonna lie. So like, pretty I, much it got I you made off. some. Did you have feelings for Craig? No. That was just a game. I mean, yeah, kind of, I mean, but it goes both ways in this situation. It wasn't just all me now. The fake profile wasn't me. But it was you. Uh, At the end of the day, it was Cassandra. Several times you're on the phone, you know, you sit here and tell me that you want real love. And I did everything in my power to give you just that. Okay. Just to be on in the end.
That's great, but I just... You don't get it. I'm looking at you, I know you don't get it. Well, whatever. Like, I don't need this. Good. Considering how many people's lives were affected, we felt like it was our duty to try at least one more time to get Cassandra to stop. And to our astonishment, Cassandra really opened up to us when we met her the following day. I sit here, you know, try to act all tough, you know, things like that. It's not really you. No, no, it's not me. I used to get bullied a lot, like, r real bad, you know. And, you know, I guess I just know how people can get so mean, and I just did it back. I don't know. I guess in a way, it felt good, you know. <laughs> I guess it was the fact there was no one I could turn to. I used to tell myself, you know, like, what's the point of being here, you know? Did you ever try to hurt yourself? <laughs> you know, I thought about that about killing myself like a few times. <laughs> I don't think that's the future you envision for yourself. But if you don't let yourself feel what it means to lose friends, then you're never gonna really appreciate what it means to have friends. <laughs> Let this change your life. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget, you can subscribe for more catfish content. And if you want to watch more right now, just click right here.